Hey, this is Phil. I'm a Grandmaster in Fix, Progressive, and 1v1s. I'm a top 10 player. Today I'm playing a four player Fix game that I jumped into someone else's lobby for. See how it goes. I'm playing white today. Okay. I'm second to act. I noticed that pink in front of me has a lot in Africa. Green pretty much already has Australia. And I'm kind of spread out, but some in North America with seven is probably where I want to fortify, maybe. How about they fortify down? Hmm. So what I do when I start a game is I look where people are and I look where I can be and then um, I try and decide from there like where I want to go. So like North America actually looks like probably the best play for me, but it just depends on what happens. So I'm going to try to get, oh yeah, absolutely. Make an alliance with this person too so they don't try to bust through like my nine or anything. Uh, I'll ally with them later. Okay. So I try to like consolidate and then take over a continent. That's my main goal at the beginning of the game. But you don't want to fight for other people with a continent. So where they're at is very important. So they're going to come over with the red. And then take over South America. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to clear them a path by probably by hitting up this way with the three and moving my other three up. And then maybe I lose a one and a two instead of a three and a two. And then that way maybe I can consolidate into North America because they look like they're going for South America. And see, I'm leaving them a path to consolidate and move down. And hopefully I can save that too, but maybe not. And then hopefully I can get green to move out of North America. I, I think if I'm them, I take it already. I mean, that's five. So you maybe have a four left and you'll have a, a 10 guarding the border. And then it's another turn at least before cards happen. Yeah, I think if, I think if I'm them, I take it. Ooh, that was a bad roll. They had a nine and they attacked a three and they only have five total left. Okay, and then at some point in the game, what we want to do is we want to um, kill somebody and make it a three player game because you can have a perfectly balanced three player game by, um, shouldn't hit my two, but Maybe they will. Yeah, you can have a perfectly balanced three player game by two people making sure the other person's not strong. They're being patient. It looks like, oh no, they're taking it now. I don't blame them. They're strong. Pretty much everybody else has attacked each other. So hopefully one of my opponents decides to attack them. Getting takes out of these troops that I consolidated. I don't really have a good fortify and moving them towards North America. And maybe I should move this three out of the way of green. Yeah, they're worried about my nine, but I'm not planning on slamming into him. 
gonna give them a thumbs up so they know that I know. Oh, hey, Curlza, what's up? Good win today, buddy. I didn't get to see it, but I saw the result. Hmm. Do I want to go to war with green? Am I going to be going to be the only player without a small, small continent? And everyone else is going to have one. Let's look at my opponents. If they all have similar records, I'm in trouble. 16 and 88, 42 hours. Red cheeks. Creed. 57 and 137, so that's not similar. And a lot of hours and a good record. So red's good. Okay. I need to give them ways out, probably. I don't know if I'd bring it all down. It doesn't make sense. It's a lot of attacks. You worked hard to get it? Yeah. Awesome. Top 8, Curlza. Good job. 1v1 tournament. Curlza's made it to the top 8, so... I'm sure he's pretty stoked about that. I'm a little nervous about this game. I think I trade in. I think I probably should trade in last turn. I'm showing people they want North America. But Red's like, I'm throwing an 8 down here. Just playing a conservative game. Yeah, beating Parlax and then Pete, that was big. So he opened up pink. Attack pink down. He's got five cards, but I can't kill him. Can pink kill him? Okay, now he fortifies down. How are we looking? Tie with red, but red hasn't traded. So I'm going to move to consolidate all my troops. Eventually I want to have an unlocked army. But right now it's not that important. Conserving troops is more important to me. Feeling rough about this one. I mean, everyone had got a small continent. I had like no occupation in the small continents except for a little. That's awesome, man. Who are you practicing with, Curlza? You have different hours than me for the most part. Okay, that's good. Let's make an alliance with this guy. I need him to be my ally if I ever want to take North America. I don't want to bust through his eight is the problem. And then if I do I don't think I don't see it to be good. I'm gonna make one big army next time. Okay, good. 
So I wonder if I can take North America at some point. Do I have cards? No. When you're in a position where you're the weakest player, which I am right now, you you don't want to be like stuck with four cards or five cards because um, people will want to kill you. You know what? I'm going to move this way. For your cards, they'll see you as like, hey, here's the weak player. Let's kill him for the cards. Darren there, Vicky Dix, zero. Tyler. Firefall. I don't know Firefall. Okay, green moved out of my way. That was nice. Red's almost like... I don't know what they're doing. They're building a huge arm. They're like preventing me from holding North America. Maybe I should go take Europe. With a trade and take Europe and then like loosely guard the border. See if anybody lets me hold it. I don't have cards. Attack my territory if I need to. Move your 12. Do I take North America being the weakest player? Oh, you're playing him right now in round five? Oh, he beat gold. Oh, I didn't know that was his name. I just see the weird risk name that he has. back. You're 12. See, he's not a good ally because he knows what he's doing. Wait. I'm going to give him some love. So I'm not really going to guard my borders. Pinks block their army, which is surprising. They're like super strong. But they almost need me to like balance out pink. So do I properly guard my borders? That was a terrible trade. How many do I want to put over there? I don't want to put them all over there. We'll see if Red's really my buddy. It's been an interesting tournament. A lot of uh, top players have gone down. Um, but a lot of good people are showing up too. Like the level has gotten really good. You could win it all, Carlza. Okay, he blocked his army. I don't like blocking armies. Like, I get it and fix. Like, you probably don't need that army, like, like, in progressive. But you never know when, like, people will go to war. I would like to hold North America for, like, a turn. Why is he stacking against me? Why is he stacking a 10 against me? Is he doing this because he thinks he needs to protect Australia? Fifty and seven. Okay, cool. Do I have cards? I don't have cards. 
I don't like that 52 being on my border, but that's where it was when I took North America and he let me hold it. And the reason I didn't put like half and half is so that if someone busts my 10, I can survive, but it's still a deterrent. Yeah, everyone's really good. I like France. Yeah. I've played a few this week. Did I make this an 18? Maybe. If I get it up to like 24 and no one can break me, then I can put the rest on the 31 without unleashing their armies. As long as red stays my ally. Yeah, we'll play. I'll play with you. If we're both on. The territory I don't want to attack ever is Southern Europe. Because that unleashes a 74 who could just destroy me if he wants to. Okay, so he is tricking green. He's saying, here you go. Oh, is he coming for me or is he coming for... Is he planning on busting through the 12? Okay, so if he wants to kill me, he can, right? And if he was only coming for me, he probably... He probably wouldn't want to go through that 12. It's a sticky moment. Because I think he could kill... I think he could kill green. And I think he could kill me. And attack green. Green hit him. Hit him. Good. You've only once ever played a caps? Just play a lot. Are there... Blizzards on this one? So red, if I end up in a 1v1 with red, they're going to first strike me with that 59. I don't want to end up in a 1v1 with them, with just the way that they're situated. So he wants Australia. Green got out. Oh, he's going to hit me. That was some incredible stuff there. Is he killing me and leaving one? Where's he going? He left one. Oh, what's happening? Is it my turn next? Can I come through and kill pink? And red? Do I have enough to kill pink and red? We will see. Red has five cards.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fourteen should be enough to kill Red. gets cards and wins but I lose if I don't do this um do I just attack his big stack see how good he is we have the same amount of cards but he has this huge army which is terrible yeah you want your cap I like the cap that is in the there's that central one that's in the bottom right of that it's very blizzard dependence does Creed know what to do does he think he's lost the game I don't understand. If I'm him, I'm just going like this. I'm just going all around. I'm going up through here and then down into here. And then if you have anything left, take as much as possible. And with the trade and everything, you can win. But is he blotting out? Do I seriously get like a 24 minute win because this person doesn't realize they can win? What? Yeah, there's the middle one and the bottom right because it connects to these other ones. Now I win for sure. Well, that worked out. That's my biggest army. There we go. Wow, I got lucky. Is he back online? Nice. This worked out easy. I thought I was in trouble. Pink came up and hit me. I was like, what? Why are you punching out? He was still like the best in the best situation and he could have taken Australia easy game awesome let's look at my opponents intermediate intermediate expert that's pretty good pretty good thanks for watching risky phil fil one word on twitch two words on youtube subscribe and follow